marry me. No. I can't. Oh. I... Oh, what? I felt the rush of a thousand heartbreaks. I bet. That's so sad. Okay. This is what we're gonna do. What out? You... Mother! She really liked him! This is nothing we haven't been through before! Uh, no. It's completely different. <sighs> this mom. Hi there! Welcome to K-Reacts. And today we are watching Penelope. I've been wanting to watch this one for years. I remember when it was on Netflix like a while back and I kept coming across it and I was like, oh yeah, yeah, I'll watch that one when I have time. And then it got removed. Procrastination at its best because now I have to pay for it. I just thought it sounded cute is all. Um, a modern fairy tale is how it's described and I do love a good fairy tale. So anyway, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and the full length will be on Patreon if you want to check it out. The link is down below. Also, other previous full length reactions I've done in the past will be on there as well. And I'm just going to quit talking and let's get into it. So Ralph married someone more suitable, and Clara fell off a cliff. Was she pregnant? Clara's mother, the town witch. Of course and commanded that the next Wilhern daughter be born with the face of a pig. And only when one of your own wow, kind claims this daughter as their own, till death do they part, will the curse be broken. Okay, got it. But as luck would have it, they gave birth to all sons. Who had all sons? Who had all sons? How fortunate for them. That the firstborn Wilhern girl... <laughs> Was me. Oh my goodness, did they actually put ears on this baby? <laughs> and Penelope, curse or no curse, if I am more than my name and my face, then surely you are more than yours. Isn't he from Pride and Prejudice, the movie? Gosh. <laughs> if somebody did that to me. I didn't show him my mole, mother. I showed him my face. It's not even that bad. Unusual, but like, not ugly. Goodness, not warranting or running away in terror. He really liked you. Did he? You're not your nose. But it, huh? it is my nose. No, it's your great 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 grandfather's nose on your father's side. Oh. <laughs> see you. But you are not your nose. You are not you. Oh. Mother, please. What a horrible thing to say. Making any attempt at removal unfeasible. Oh gosh. I'm sorry. The snout stays. <laughs> wow, what a what a shallow person. First, from reporters. Oh my gosh, is that Peter Dinklage? Oh, oh no. She faked my death. Oh, dramatic. Oh, <laughs> the eye patch. Oh, he wants to go out and play. No, you cannot do it because of reasons. It's giving me a Hunchback and Notre Dame vibes. Hello. Oh my gosh. Ah! Uh, hideous! Oh my gosh, she jumped out the window. I guess oh I looked even worse than I thought. Why do they keep jumping out the window? I recognize the need for certain adjustments. Shadowproof oh. <laughs> glass and sneakers for Jay. <laughs> I'm telling you, if I hadn't got out there when I did, that monster, it would have eaten me alive. That's it, put him in. Oh my goodness. The holding. <laughs> Deserved. There was a nervous breakdown. That's what you get, sir, for being a jerk and an exaggerator. We're moving! 
Dang, her room is amazing. She could use better pillows, though. I'm not a delusional maniac. <laughs> Am I? No. <laughs> oh, so help me God, I am going to rip your guts out one gut at a time. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. That's what I'm getting from you, sir. If they can't stand the sight of me now, what makes you think they'll be able to for double? Oh, now, now. With that attitude. Oh, yeah, it's my attitude, mother. Oh, poor Penelope. And she's not ugly. What the heck? It's not my face. It's my great, great, great grandfather's face. And he's not me, and I'm not him, and I'm not me. And don't you forget it. What a terrible thing to say to her, and to the point where she's memorized it. 100% giving me Hunchback and Notre Dame vibes. You are deformed. I am deformed. And you are ugly. And I am ugly. And these are crimes for which the world shows little pity. That hideous woman still gives me nightmares. Oh, you never saw her. Oh. No, not Penelope. Her mother. Her mother. <laughs> I mean, it's... <laughs> what in the heck? That's really what he thought she looked like? I don't think we're going to find any blue bloods lining up to help us. It's not like they need the money. No, but down and out blue bloods do. Okay. Check. James McAvoy. So many people that I know in this movie. <laughs> hey, hear me out. I'll make it worth your while. You got the wrong guy. 5,000 bucks worth your while. I'm listening. Just your standard gag. You don't talk, we don't talk. Just how ugly is this girl? <laughs> She's not ugly. Now to take a picture, you just raise either arm. Not now. <laughs> Interesting. How do you come up with this contraption? Oh my gosh, why are there so many here at once? Couldn't have put a tie on him at least. But he's different. Oh. What's happening? Oh, is she gonna like go out there? Hello, yep. I'm Penelope, and you must be. What in the world? This poor girl. There's no knives. <laughs> he didn't see her. Oh, oh, yeah, comfort food, honestly. That would be so disheartening. Just speeding things up. Oh, and now you're just gonna make a pig of yourself? No, that's already been done for me. Oh! They always run. Why can't you accept that? Oh. For seven years, I've been watching them run. There's one out there, though. Do you have any idea how that makes me feel? Yeah, even the most confident person, like... That has to be so hard. One man who, who. Oh, they're gonna fall them. I already know it. Well, I... Oh, go! Let's go. We got it. Did you see? See? You didn't see. I didn't. <laughs> yeah, it's a great book. So you've read it. Well, yeah. Funny, I, I thought that was the only surviving copy. Well, you, you know what? I uh, <laughs> meant to read it, but the library was always out. Okay. Mm. So you're a fan of the money? <sighs> I'm a big fan of the money. Same, dude. <laughs> and I'm afraid there's only one that's valued under 100. How much you want to bet that's the one he has? <laughs> what? I said your favorite, just the same. I heard you. Lucky guess. Gotcha! <laughs> uh, mediocre try there, sir. Penelope. What is she hoping to accomplish here? What is happening? We'll be back tomorrow. I knew it. I knew you were there. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, no. I think I'm catching feelings and I'm back. <laughs> they like crying. Okay. Yeah, do something about that hair, sir. The mouthwash. <laughs> I wouldn't put 
my mouth on that thing, but whatever floats your boat, sir. What do you play? Guess. <laughs> oh gosh. Right, so he, she just brought in a whole thing. Oh no, that's the worst one yet. Stop! <laughs> oh gosh. Amazingly terrible. I just thought of you as like a like a cop. You know, as soon as you got the whole interrogation thing now. <laughs> Your knight can't do that. My knight? The horse. Alright. Does he even know how to play chess? How about you and me heading down to the Cloverdilly pub right now? The Cloverdilly pub? Yeah. Thanks. Maybe later. I say he's trying to like get her out for the picture, but I feel like he's starting to like actually want to get her out. Like for real. Penelope, come on. Eh? Come on, you gotta get out of there sometime. What are you waiting for? Well, it's a long story. <laughs> you know, the truth is, you're, you're not missing much. Really? The Clover Dilly Pub sounds fun. Yeah. Aside from that. <laughs> oh, in the park? The park is great. I used to spend every weekend there, oh. just hanging on a bench, writing stupid love songs, people watching. Used to? You don't do that anymore? What happened to you? Don't the game will be over. Your queen will be dead. Well, my king's still pretty active. Yeah, I don't think this guy knows how to play chess. What you thinking about, my guy? Why else would it be taking you so long, huh? She revealed herself to me straight away. You know what? It's because she likes him. I've seen her. She is grotesque. Shut him up. I'm talking. Yeah, please. Nightmare ugly. Puke! <laughs> yeah, ew. It was nothing. Oh my god! He licked me. Edward. What? What? <laughs> Don't lick Max. <laughs> the way he says it. Don't lick Max. It's starting! Starting! They get their snacks. I would hate this. How many times have they met up now? Does he have another jacket? <laughs> For real. How many times have they like been on their little dates or whatever you want to call them? You are my sunshine. He's not putting an effort in any of these instrument tryouts. Shine, you make me, you're my sunshine. A left hand? <gasps> Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it's better. Oh, oh, oh. He's not running. He's not running. Take the win. Processing, processing. It's all good. He knows you're not ugly. Can I touch it? Oh. I'm a monster. No. No, girl. No. You're not. no. no. Stupid jacket. I told you! Nothing happened! You ran. It was you this time! Exactly! Did you get it? Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. No, whoa! Ooh! Yeah! Don't! Don't shut the gate! Oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> Parkour! I know this face repulses you. No, it doesn't. The real me is inside here somewhere just waiting to get out. Oh, that's so sad. What if the curse can never be broken? Huh. Then I'll kill myself. Girl. Girl. That's dramatic as heck. Marry me. No. Oh. I can't. Oh. I. Oh, what? I mm. felt the rush of a thousand heartbreaks. I bet. That's so sad. Okay. This is what we're going to do. Why out? You Mother! She really liked him! This is nothing we haven't been through before! Uh, no. It's completely different. <sighs> this mom. What happened? 
There's gotta be something else going on here. Like maybe he's just worried about the curse. Like she said, she'd kill herself, right? So he's like, what if it doesn't, like, you know, like if it doesn't get broken, he plays the piano. What a liar. No, don't go back to this again, sir. Pour your heart out into the piano. Maybe we should stop all this matchmaking. And give her a puppy. Oh. <laughs> Puppies help everything. Is she leaving? Run away, girl. Yeah, get out of here. She's escaped. Let's go. Gosh, she's gonna be coming up to me. Edward, you gotta get. Please, she doesn't care about you at all. She would have fit right in in 2020. <laughs> yes, I'd like to report my daughter missing. Are you out of your mind? Oh. Where did they find her? <laughs> I know. How dare they? Oh, she's at the park with the street fair. <gasps> so magical with the bubbles and everything. The whimsy. Now she has to go to that pub that he was talking about, and we'll be all be complete. Okay. The whimsy is off the charts. I love you and goodbye. And that'll be don't good for her. Breaking free. Room eight is available. Thank you. You don't want the room? <laughs> She's just gonna go to it. I got a deadline here. We gotta go to print. What in the world, sir? Yeah. That's exactly what she looks like. I thought you went home. I did. Slept for eight blissful hours. He's been here all that time. Jeez. Are you in or out? Get out. You've been here way too long. Yeah. You gotta go find Penelope because she's out. We're breaking free. We're soaring. Flying. Good for you, sir. I to remember I'm your son. That's exactly what I'm trying to forget. Oh, I'd be the same, honestly. He's annoying me. I'm trying to say is give us the key now. I'm sorry, but- Wow, way to give yourself away. Well, at least we know she's not starving. She's been eating like chips and candy. I mean, that's basically my diet, so no judgment. It's so ugly. Why did you think she looked like that? Penelope? Who is this? Really? Uh, uh, and why did you hang up, Edward? What's what's wrong with you? It's... <laughs> That's the eternal question of this movie. Okay, okay. <laughs> Get away. Fangs. There are no fangs. <laughs> yeah, Edward. She must just suck them back into her skulls. Please. It's okay, I understand. You're an idiot. Half the people in this city think I'm crazy. Whose fault is that? Oh wait, is this the pub? Oh. Can I have a beer on tap, please? Oh. She's not some freaking payday. She sold me the photo herself. Yeah, apparently she's out there on her own. She's at the pub. Go find her. Last delivery of the day. How are you doing? Reese Witherspoon. So many people in this. So what, are you hiding from the law or is that just a bad nose job or something? Mm -hmm. Bad nose job. From birth. <laughs> Look, uh... Russell Brand? There's all these people in this movie. Let's just say I didn't appreciate a good thing when I had it. Oh, and now you do. Now I do. Yeah. All right, so this man's on his own personal journey while Penelope is, and they're gonna come together later. Got it. But when is that gonna be? Penelope! Penelope! Oh gosh. 
Oh, great. You're here. It's your turn to buy. All right, I lied. I'll buy. Oh, my God. Oh, girl. It's hideous. Well, cat's out of the bag. She went to the hospital for that. Oh, my goodness. Is it true you're chained up in the basement? Oh, my gosh. Can I borrow some money? I'm running low. Absolutely not. You get in that car. Mom, they want to know if you chained me up in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I got you, girl. Come on, Penelope. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. Not this guy again. That woman, that thing, belongs in a cage. Oh, gosh. Disgusted, I am revolted, I dedicate my entire life to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and this is the thanks I get? They don't know her like I do. We're a publicly Oh, please. I told you I wasn't very good. <gasps> oh! You know, you inspired me. Doing what you did, going off on your own like that. I, uh, I'm not. I have to go. No! Oh, no, come on. That was not smooth, sir. Disappointed! I have the most wonderful surprise. Okay, Mom, but I really should get back. No, no. Uh, wonderful surprise? Uh. Sorry, I ran from my feelings. Oh, is that what you were running from? I was certain you were running from me. Only my feelings for you. Yeah, uh, okay. Stop now. Because I have friends. Those aren't friends, dear. Those are fans. Oh, gosh. Mother, mm -mm. always dragging her down. Let the poor girl be happy. Our one and only chance at a normal life. Our one and only chance? Oh, she's having a normal life. You can't even look at her. His face. Ugh. Oh gosh, she really did it. I'm glad you're upset about this too. He's a creep. Armed robbery. Come on, Max Campion? Yeah, I just got the call. He's already confessed. No way. No, no. Uh... You got a Maxwell Campion playing here tonight? That's him there. Table number five. You got the wrong guy. Oh my gosh. Plot twist. The deception! The betrayal man. Uh is Johnny Martin. Johnny Martin. Johnny Martin. Johnny Martin. What a basic name. Johnny. <laughs> okay. We used to go out to the theater all the time. Why did we stop? Oh, I guess because we had an ugly daughter. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you. Oh. Where are you going? Hi. Oh. Max. Look, if you want to go out there and tell her that the only man willing to stand up and say, I do, still gags at the thought of kissing her. Ah! How annoying can this man be? But it's not me you'll be hurting. It's her. <laughs> okay, but... But it's, it's not... Even if she did marry him, it's not breaking the curse because he doesn't accept her. Isn't that, like, what the curse says? Like, be accepted by your own kind? Johnny Martin. Son of a plumber, huh? Mm. Sure took you long enough. Aha. Uh -huh. Boy, you fooled me. Yeah, fooled us all. You seen this? Mm. Cute couple. Yeah, Penelope mm -hmm. and the Beast. Hey, <laughs> for real. Why, why not you? You're forgetting, man. I'm not Max. So? One of their own kind. I'm not a blue blood. That's what I'm saying. But that's not, the curse doesn't say get married though. So it's not gonna work. Curses are always so big. Cause maybe she could marry him, like some of your own kind, like I don't know, on an emotional level. I don't know, I don't know. I know it seems really nice, you know? Does he though? The only one cursed here is me. Shut up. All right, girl. That's why I just wanted to apologize. Apology not accepted. Shut up. Don't you think Penelope's entitled to know? That he lied about everything. That he doesn't have the power to break the curse. Why on earth would she need to know that? This mother. He 
that's the only reason he said no. I don't know that, you don't know that, but if that's true, God bless him, he did the right thing! This isn't gonna work, Mom! Ah! Mom, I feel stupid. Oh, you don't look stupid. You look... You don't look stupid. Oh my gosh, she's so annoying. How hard is it to say you look beautiful? Because she does, she doesn't look ugly. Oh my goodness. You're making me so mad. Ah, this guy. Tear. He's like gonna show. cry. Happiest day of my life. Why don't you marry him, mom? No. No! Thank goodness. <laughs> He's so relieved. Uh, Look no. at me. Shove her down the stairs. We are one yes away from a whole new life. We? I don't want a whole new me, mother. Tell her. I like myself the way I am. Oh. Hey, dramatic? Is that the curse breaking? <gasps> Yay! Look at her little nose. Oh, accepted by one of her own. I knew it. that curse was very vague. I'd had the power all along. Yeah, if only your stupid mom wasn't there tearing you down every day. I miss it too. Oh, shut up. You do not miss it. Frickin' lies. No, don't you see? I could have broken the curse years ago. Mm, if I just had my job it. as your mother. Yeah. I loved you as my own. Yeah. Curse or not, she should have loved her the way she is. That's a mom's job. I think a little turn up might, you know, right there would be sweet, wouldn't it? Look at that. What are you talking about? Oh, no, I'm the bad guy! You've always been the bad guy. And huh? figured we all might be better off if my mother just kept I... quiet for a while. I feel like that's true, though. She needs to shut up. What? This whole time? The sneakers still. Now that's ugly. Girls, please. Yeah, but she knew I was gonna be Penelope. <laughs> Penelope for Halloween. Hey Jess, I think you're gonna wanna see this. Is this too much? <laughs> and then Wanda couldn't hold on to the secret any longer. Finally. Now that the movie's basically over, she's gonna go find him. <laughs> hey, dude. You know, he had to stay mm -hmm. away from all kinds of things. Take I Take off the mask. Oh. Sorry. He knows her voice. He knows her voice. This someone, she meant a lot to you? <laughs> yes. You lied to me. I guessed piano, and you said that. Oh! I don't have the power to break the curse. That's okay. Turns out I did. <laughs> I love it. Thanks, Johnny. I don't accept that. It doesn't fit you. Yay. Dang. The kisses, though. Well, what do you think it means? Rich people stink! Amen. It's not the power of the curse, it's the power you give the curse. You got it. This random little British kid. It's not the power of the curse. We gotta go be romantic. Oh, I'm gonna put her on the swing. Cute. What are you doing here in your tiny little boat? Gonna leave him alone. Is he here to take a picture of her? I'm assuming yes. And character growth for leaving her alone in their happy little world. Aww, the end. All right, well, that was Penelope. That was a super cute movie. Um, it definitely had fairy tale vibes. It was sort of like a whimsical twist on the Hunchback of Notre Dame slash 
Rapunzel, you know? She's not even ugly. Like, what in the world was going on with those people? She's totally cute. Like, sure, her nose was, like, a little different, but, like, she just looks like a normal, like, cute girl. Like, it definitely didn't warrant people running away in a horror multiple times. Like, oh, poor Penelope. <laughs> like, after like two or three times of that happening, I would have just told mom to shove it because that hurts. <laughs> like, um, speaking of the mom though, wow, she was a lot. She was just the worst. Like, so much mental and emotional abuse going on there. <laughs> Like the way she kept saying like we instead of me or I whenever she was talking about a problem. Like for example, like this is the only chance we have for a normal life. It's like, you know what? Shut up. <laughs> like clearly she's the only one distressed over this whole situation and everyone else is just kind of like chill or dealing with it or they're just not as like about it. But she's making it everyone else's problem. And it's just like, ah, it's so annoying. And then like, even after she realized her mistake that she just needed to love Penelope as she was the whole time, she still had the audacity to try and change her appearance. It's like, some things never change, I guess. Um. I'm surprised at how little screen time the two main love interests got. Like they had their little moments at the beginning and then at the end and then in between there wasn't really anything. Um, it was more focused on like their individual journeys and then you know once they got there they came together in the end. Um, it was just different but like they were so cute though, weren't they? <laughs> and that kiss at the end just like embodied everything that romance is made of. It was amazing, so worth it. <laughs> um, on the other end of the scale, there was Edward. Um, what a tool. <laughs> Going back to the Hunchback of Notre Dame territory, there's it just asked the question of um, who is the monster and who is the man. <laughs> if you've seen the Disney version. Um, like the way he just hates Penelope so much and is like terrified of her. Like it's just outrageous and ridiculous. And like how he's so paranoid that she's going to come after him. Like, dude, you're not that important. <laughs> Um, you know, the actor did a really good job of just making him a total douchebag. <laughs> it's the complete opposite of what he plays in, um, the Pride and Prejudice. Um, so the whole movie was giving me like Pushing Daisies vibe. If you've seen that show, you know what I mean. Um, like the whole style kind of reminded me of it, like the whimsy, the the clothes, the directing, like the quirky little magical centerpiece and everything. Yeah, so that's, I kept thinking that the whole time and I never really got a chance to say it. Um, yeah, so if you haven't seen Pushing Daisies, I recommend it. Um, so the one thing I also kept thinking about was that the storytelling was a little bit wonky and it just could have been a little bit more focused, I guess. So it was just kind of jumping around a little bit and there was a little too much going on. Um, and like I mentioned before, I would have liked Penelope and Johnny. <laughs> I can't believe that's his real name. Like, come on. Give him something more original. Anyway, I would have liked them to have a little bit more interaction throughout the movie instead of just beginning, end. But it's fine, it's fine. It worked. Uh, 
So nevertheless, I thought it was cute and enjoyable. So yeah, good stuff. So thank you for watching with me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And the full link will be on Patreon if you want to check it out. The link is down below. And other previous full length reactions I've done in the past will be on there as well. And I will see you next time on K-Reacts.